Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this. Okay, it's specifically themed for the Lunar New Year. Um, year of the Ox, it's tomorrow. There's the envelope to put the money in. But I think that we could do this for a lot of different things and not just for the Lunar New Year. It just happens to be that the theme is this, but um, I think this would be so cute for thank you cards or something for like a birthday. So you have your theme here and in the back it says, you know, thank you for coming um, or party favors. Um, what else? This would be cute too if you want to go to like a football game and cheer for your team. I don't know. I feel like this could be a lot of things. So anyway, I'm calling them wands because they're on a stick and that's just what we're going to call them. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to show you how to do everything. Um, this was totally done on the fly in a sense that I didn't really know what I was thinking. Um, like I had a vision, but I didn't, I've never done rosettes before. So this is like half of one because of the sizing. I wasn't sure how that was going to work. So let's get started. All right. All these images are from design space, the rosette, the circles, and the envelopes. I mean, the decor stuff we're not going to talk about because I just want to build this. So here's the thing the we're going to go into images and look up everything. So I wrote down the image number. So every time that you're searching for an image number, make sure you have the pound signed and then the number itself. So M42B13, for instance. All right, so this is the rosette. I don't know why it says purchase. I did not purchase this, but you wanna click on this and insert. And then we'll talk about sizing and everything later. I wanted to insert it so that you could see what it comes in as. Um, so we'll move it aside for a second and then let's do the next one. So let's go to images and I'll walk, like I said, I'll walk you through everything, but let's get all our images in. Uh, 4506. Oh, I think. So it's our doily. You know, I'm looking for things that have layers because we're sticking strictly um, in design space. So we're not going into Inkscape to, to create the layers. So I'm looking for things that already have the layers that we can build upon. All right, so there's our little thing. And then our last thing is the rose. Um, what's left? The envelope. All right, so M186B51. Oh, I didn't have the pound sign. It's crazy that it doesn't work like that, right? <laughs> All right. So click on this, insert images. Okay, so let's talk about the envelopes and everything. Um, so you see these dashed lines. You can tell what it is. You're supposed to use the scoring tool. I don't have the scoring tool, but I have a deboss tool. So to me, they're the same thing. So what what I needed to do is I went to the score lines here because you can see it's attached. So this score line is attached to this light blue, the inside of the envelope, right? So you can see here, these envelopes are super cute, by the way. So adorable. I love that it has the liner. It really makes the envelope stand out. But all right, so you can see the score lines, right? So instead of scoring, because my maker will not continue even if I put my deboss tool in. It needs to detect the correct tool. So the tool that I have, I'm gonna change it to deboss and it's gonna, so it went a straight line, but it's okay. It's just creasing that line for you to fold it. So that's what you need to do if you, if you don't have this tool. Then I need to score, so there's another score line on the actual envelope, right? So I'm going to change that to deboss and then same thing with these. All right, so let's talk about the rosette. So the rosette that I did is not a full one. I use three tabs. So three of these tabs here, and it gave me this. Um, it would have been too big and I didn't know how to size it. So I should have known because look at how big that is, right? Like that is way bigger than my, than my piece. Let me move that to the front, arrange, send to the front so that we could see what we're talking about. Um, I should have known from this that the tabs would have been too, too big, right? Especially if I were to make a full one, look how big that would have been. It would have covered 
completely over. So that's why I did sort of like a third of a fan or a third of a rosette. So you would need to resize this. When you resize this, you need to make sure that you grab all six of, of the tabs. Now, you're gonna ask why did I only do four? Because four fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock at this size. So um, that's why I did what I did. So what you need to do is you need to determine what size you wanna make your wand. So this is our big piece, right? You can see that's the outline here. I had this outline too. This middle piece, because I had the rosette in the middle and the ox, you couldn't see it at all. So if you're gonna make this, I would get rid of the smaller circle and just concentrate on these two pieces here. Now you can see this, is, this has a lot of layers because you can see on the right hand side. So it's got the blue middle circle layer, which I said is not gonna show if you're gonna layer anything on top. So we're gonna get rid of that. So I'm just gonna delete that. Then you have the doily. Then you have the piece behind the doily. And this piece right here is the same size as this pink piece. And again, you may not need it if you're gonna put stuff in the middle. So I did like a metallic gold, but the only pieces showing are a few little windows, like maybe five windows. I don't know if it's worth it to use really nice paper. I would, um, I would probably go back and have used like cheaper paper than a nice metallic gold right there. And then your back layer is your, um, is my gold layer back there. Okay. All right. So we have this piece. So if you want to do the rosette for, and this, this is big, this is, we're not going to do something 12 inches, right? Because it won't fit on your 12 by 12 cardstock. So let's say even if you were to make this um, 10 inches, right? Let's put this on top, arrange, send to the front. So if you want to do a full rosette where it goes all the way around, you need to make sure that um, let's see if I can move it so you can see. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. Come on. Um, let me move this over a little bit. Okay. This comes with this little piece for it to go on top of. So it's really cute. I like it, but, um, that's what that is for. Okay. So you can see, basically you're going to need two of them, two rows to give you a full rosette. So, I would probably make this just a little bit smaller so that you can still see these two. It won't have that little space right there, but this will give you an idea. So again, it's not gonna show the middle piece right here, but it will show you the loops out here. So this is a good size for that, okay? Um, all right, so I'm gonna leave that there. Now, again, I don't have the scoring tool. So all of these where it says score, I'm gonna click on it, hit the shift key, and I'm gonna move my face for a second. I'm gonna move it, oh, hold on. I'm gonna move it over here so you can see everything. All right, how about that? Okay. Um, so everything with the score, I'm gonna grab. So I'm gonna click the shift button and grab all the scoring and go to deboss. Now again, when you deboss this, it's not going, oh, okay, this one's missing. So hold on, um, there's one that must, oh, here it is, it's still says score. So um, it's not gonna cut through, it's just giving you an imprint of where to fold. So you need to do that. Um, let's see if there's anything else on here. Okay, now let's talk about the envelope. So here's the envelope, the envelope is super, super cute. You wanna make sure that this rectangle right here, let's ungroup this for just one second. Um, it depends on how big you want to make it. So this will completely be covered in the back of, you see where my envelope is? This is that. It's so cute. So again, you're going to size it however you want to. When you resize this though, you need to resize both of them at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time getting the inside of the card, the liner, to fit with your envelope. So you want to make sure you grab both of these. And I would even, for now, I would group them together 
just so that it moves together as one file, it gets resized as one file. So let's say you wanna make it bigger. Keep in mind, when folded, if you want this to be within the circle piece, within the doily, you, we just need to make sure that this rectangle fits perfectly because these tabs are gonna fold in. Um, let me show you a better one. I redid these envelopes because they're so stinking cute. So, oh, <laughs> so these are the tabs right here that fold in and this folds up and then this, this top part folds down. So it is just the rectangle. So if you're looking to size this, the rectangle needs to be inside of the doily. So you can make this as big as like that. Okay, the other cool thing is if you make this into a wand, then your wand or your wood dowel, you know, the thing that you use for a cake topper, it's gonna go in between the envelope and the, and the um, doily. So it's covered, it's cute. This thing is so stable. I just absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of these and I think the next theme I'm gonna do like a birthday theme, like a Snow White or a Cinderella, just so that you can see how cute it can be. Cause I know this, this is for all the Asians, that celebrate the Lunar New Year. <laughs> you don't have appreciation for this. The colors may be not your style. I mean, it's always just red and gold. So I wanna do one where it's a little bit more, um, uh, reaches a broader audience maybe, and just so that you can get a feel for what different colors will do and different images will do for this type of thing. Cause I think this is so adorable and you may not see it right now because of the theme. So I wanna make sure that we will, you know, I, I'm gonna, the jury's still out, right? <laughs> okay, so I showed you all that. Let's go to the Make It screen so you can see why I did what I did. Um, so when I did the rosette for this one, or the half rosette, whatever you wanna call it, I used three tabs. So, and it's because it's tightly um, pushed together. You can spread it out. I mean, it's just the rosette gives you so many options. Now, one of the things that, um, I realized when I did this is that the paper that I used, it was, um, I think 65 pound cardstock. It had a white core. So while you may not see it on camera in person, when I folded these, I started to see the white come through where it was so stressed, um, from being debossed and then folded. The red was peeling off a little bit and the white was coming through, just like it would if you were rolling flowers and you have the white core, that's what that is. So just make sure that I would still use 65 pound paper cardstock because you don't need it to be um, sturdy. You just need to make sure that it's not white core. Like you want it to be a solid core so that you don't see the, the white coming through. It's not distracting. I would say you wouldn't really notice. It's, I noticed because I knew the paper that I was using. The cuts up here, you could see the white coming through. So I definitely would keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, okay, so let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what that looks like. Um, and I, you know, on this one, let me see my original. I really like this size and this is about six inches. So it's kind of like, I don't know, big enough that people can see it, but not gigantic. So I would feel comfortable holding this and taking it somewhere and I don't know, celebrating. I think this would be really cute too at a wedding. Um, I, I don't think that they do this at non-Asian weddings, but at Asian weddings, you take your chopsticks. So <laughs> you probably don't have chopsticks at your wedding, but you take the chopsticks, you tap it against the champagne glasses, and that tells you, hey, bride and groom, you need to kiss. But I think if you shake this, maybe we need to add some kind of like noise thing to it. That will tell people to, to kiss, but I don't know. I'm really in love with these wands. So you're gonna see a lot of it coming out of this channel. <laughs> okay, um, click okay, let's see. Um, let's look at these things. Okay, so you see these fit, these will fit four. So for me, I didn't wanna waste another piece of paper. So I'm gonna click on the four, the three dots, move object, and I'm gonna, make it fit onto the previous page. So where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna make it fit on this page. Now make sure though that you move it and I'm gonna rotate it so it's gonna fit, hopefully fit. 
Okay, perfect. So it fits over here. Then on this one, all you have to do, you either skip this paper, so when it's time to cut this one, you just click on the next one, or you can click on the three dots and just hide selected, then it's gone. Um, I would recommend hide selected because I can't tell you how many times I think I'm cutting on the next item and I didn't click on it, so then my paper's ruined because it's cutting out something that I wasn't intending it to cut. All right, this is the gigantic envelope that I forgot to resize. Yeah, okay, don't worry about that. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, that's it then, really. So this one, click on it, click on the three dots, move object. Because uh, not everybody knows that you can do that, so I wanted to show you again because I may have gone too quickly. So I'm moving th this tab over to this page so that it's all on one paper. You just need to make sure that nothing is overlapping, otherwise you're gonna have to recut things, which totally defeats the purpose. <laughs> and ask me how I know, learned from experience. Okay, um, so um, this is normal, just the regular cut. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. I'll look at this one more time to see if there's anything else I need to tell you. Um, I like having all the different layers. I used foam tape to so like even though it's just a couple circles, everything's got a little bit of depth and dimension so that it gives it a really polished look. I mean, look at this, it's thick. And all it is is just cardstock. So you have the rosette, you've got whatever decorative piece, right? So in this case, it's the Lunar New Year theme, the Year of the Ox. But you know, you could have a picture of Snow White or the number of the birthday in age. Um, or the football team, or the Greek letters, I don't know. I'm thinking so many fun things for this, but that's gonna go on top. The bottom items, you're still gonna want layers because you don't want things flat. So in between these cir circle pieces or doily pieces, I would layer it with foam tape so it gives it a little bit of space, and then that way you have your layers. I have seen one of the more popular things to do these days is even though it's not um, an outline or an offset, you ha have multiple of the same thing. So like this last layer of the doily, I've seen people do like three of them, all the same size. So it's not giving you an additional outer outline or anything like that but you stack them. So you have them with the foam tape. So from the side and any view that's not straight on, you're gonna see the layers. So it just gives it that kind of polish, expensive look. So you could always do that um, on top of giving it the, the outline. All right, that's all I have for you on this one. We're gonna be coming up with more themes on another episode. Um, let me know what you think and what you wanna see in the comments. And then also, if you need to send me a file because you have a question or you need to give me more information, you can send it to ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys. Wishing you much success in the new year.